What's up everybody? Josh here from Lord Knives. Uh, I am hopping on here because I wanted to make a video I'm talking about a subject that I get asked about all the time. That is how do you sharpen your blades? How do you keep them sharp? How hard are they to get sharp again? So on. So it's really hard to talk about every method that's out there. Let's see if I can adjust this here. Um, there's so many different types of, and ways to do this, but what I find is the best way to relay to someone out there how to keep their knife sharp or get their knife sharp again is to use traditional methods like stones. Um, I've tried a lot of different ways. You know, when we sharpen a knife in the shop here, we use uh, a series of belts and grinders and we have a specific technique that keeps it, you know, uh, from overheating the edge, grinding away too much material, and so on. I don't recommend that for the average, you know, person that just wants to get their knife sharp, keep their knife sharp. What I recommend is a set of good stones. This set right here is probably my favorite. This is from a company called BMT. These guys make excellent products. And what it is, you can see this is a little base. And what comes in it are these two diamond loaded steel plates. Now these are six inch plates, six inch by two inch plates, and there's four different grits in this series right here. Um, and you can see that they're marked extra fine, fine, and then coarse, and I think extra coarse, yeah. And basically what's What's in that right there, this set of stones, you get this set right here, is everything you need to get an inch back. I don't care how messed up it is, you can get it back with this system right here. And if you really want to final touch it, you get a ceramic rod to put your uh, final hone on it and call it a day. So what I figured I'd do is actually show the technique with uh, one of our prototypes that needs, a, it needs an edge. Been running it, testing it. I don't know how I got this gold, but it did. So I figured what I'd show you is exactly how I would go about doing that. And I'd show you kind of what it looks like right now versus what it'll look like. Here's a piece of paper. Not sharp. Yeah. Not sharp. So we're going to get this bad boy sharp. So, I always start, if I need to sharpen a blade, don't waste time. Start with the heavy grits, all right? And then move up. For this level right here of what this guy needs, I'm gonna start with coarse. So, lay it in here like this. I'm gonna hopefully show you guys, you know, get this all in. Go. Take your blade. And you're gonna lay it on there. Maybe I can adjust this. You guys want me to see my stupid face? Yeah. All right. We're gonna come in here and you're gonna lay it on about like that. You can see your angle, hopefully. You can feel it and see it. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down with one hand and you're going to keep a flat angle with your, your fingers here. And I'm just going to start doing it. It's really hard to talk and do this and watch the camera at the same time. So you're grinding away steel here. That's what we're doing. Okay. You can see that I'm, I'm keeping pretty firm pressure and I'm both keeping the angle and keeping pressure down with the other hand. Okay. And I am grinding away steel right now. That's what I want. I'm trying to create that bird again to get that edge back up and I can feel it the best way to describe when you need to flip sides is when it gets easier when it feels like it's sliding across a lot easier that means that you ground away most of the material you switch sides hopefully you guys can see this here. same thing you're just imagine I mean you're trying to grind another flat angle on the both sides. This 
is as much as a feel thing as it is an understanding, but the concept is practically the same as any other way of sharpening in that you're trying to create flat, constant, apex angles. Sharpening has got to be the most misunderstood thing there is, and it's ironic because it's the only thing that makes a knife work the way it's supposed to. Alright, so after you, when you start to feel that it's not really like grinding material anymore, feel your edge. And I'm going to take my fingernail, run it all the way up, and what I'm feeling for is a bird. So it's on this side. And I, sorry, I didn't know this one. Okay. Right here, I can feel that bird. It's catching my fingernail all the way up. All right? The very tip of my fingernail. Now, when I'm at that point, I'm going to take this one off because I started with coarse, not extra coarse. Right? This one, what, how much this one needed. I'm going to put on the uh, fine. Same thing. We're gonna just go and do the same exact thing. And you're you're looking for the same results on every stone. You want it to sound and feel like you're not grinding material anymore. And then you switch. I'm grinding on the on the forward stroke and on the back. You gotta remember this is hardened steel. Um, most people struggle because they sit there and they do light strokes when they're sharpening and it's when you're sharpening you're actually removing a lot of material and you're trying to remove hardened steel and that's why most people can't get a knife sharp on the stones is because they don't really put the elbow grease in right here you should not have to do this often you, should, you don't want to have to come back to the stones like this unless absolutely necessary this grinds away material you should do this as as little as possible. Okay. I can feel it's getting pretty, pretty fine. Okay. I know from experience that I've reached another, I've reached the apex on both sides with this stone. Now I'm going to flip it extra fine this is where we're just gonna we're gonna put the final touches on it and then go to our ceramic rod here and get you a nice sharp edge same thing keep that thing close to the edge so you can get get uh, all the way up knife I know it's a little loud in here, so I don't think you guys can hear how this sounds, but. All right. Now, I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna do some light finishing strokes. I'm gonna feel this edge. Now, I can tell you right now, that sucker is sharp. It's very sharp. That would be a meat slicing dream of an edge. But just to finish this off, all right, we're gonna take this guy right here. And you're gonna do the same thing. When you're sharpening, you're doing more strokes. And it's about feel. You can feel when you clean that edge up. When you're touching up, you want to do one for one passes, light strokes. When you're sharpening, you need to do as many as it takes to remove burrs and reach a true apex. Yeah, we're, uh, it's going to be very sharp. Time we're done here. All right. So this 
just because I'm a snob for this, I want a little bit more. Yeah. All right. You just watch me do that. All right. Now you can go to a strop and really fine tune, but for cutting meat and everything that you're normally going to do with a knife. Hopefully you guys can see that, hear that. A bit more. Yeah. This is kind of hard to do on camera. You see how I'm making those curls like that? I'm not just going straight, which I can. I don't know who that wouldn't work for. Um, actually, that would work for anybody. Let's just put it that way. That's a very sharp knife now. All right, you saw how simple that was and how little effort it actually takes and little input of understanding how to keep your angle, how to get that apex back on. You wanna do this as little as possible. There's some good guided, guided sharpening systems out there. Um, they're just hard to recommend because they're very expensive. They still take technique to understand and so on. But with a little bit of understanding and a good set of stones, those stones will last you, your, you know, the rest of your life. And uh, you can always get an edge back on pretty much any of your, uh, your cutlery. So hopefully that helped. I know that that's not going to solve everybody's, you know, how to do something. But um, hopefully it helps somebody understand what, needs to go into getting a knife sharp again. Thanks a lot, everybody.